friends, welcome Hello. to another video. Would you like to see my lovely sunburned face? Wow, it's great. Grimpy is with me. He's currently driving and pulling us into a parking spot because we are gonna do our grocery haul this week at a place we don't normally go, Trader Joe's. Trader we Joseph. love Trader Joe's, Trader Joseph. So quick disclaimer, we have been at the zoo. Um, we are doing a 5K every day in May. It's a challenge. And we are doing so stinking good with it. What day is it? The 9th? The 8th? Eight. We have not missed a day yet. We've done this over a week. And if you guys know about us and challenges, usually we don't make it a week. So it's been really fun. I've liked it. Have you liked it, Scrimpy? Yeah, it's great. We look gross. So sorry. I um, think I look great. Thank you. I think you look great, too. Do you think I look great? No, you look gross. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Of course you look great. We're coming from the zoo where we walked our 5K today and lunch at one of our favorite brunch spots. Um, Although we missed brunch. We did miss brunch, unfortunately. Um, so anyway, we look like this, but we're going grocery shopping. So we are going to go see what Trader Joe's has. We've been doing super, super good at eating healthily at home. We've been on a really great health kick. We need to do a health video update mm -hmm. about how good we've been doing. Um, but Trader Joe's is kind of persnickety about filming inside, so we're not on the nice camera today. We're on my phone right now, and I'll probably just do a fun little montage, maybe show you a few things in there, but for the most part, we're gonna dive super hardcore into our haul at home and show you everything you should buy at Trader Joe's because this place is awesome. Okay, see you in there. Eric's got to get some sort of steak here in this section. He's a steak boy, aren't you, Scrimpy? Mm -hmm. Scrimpy, you want any kombucha? Nope. <laughs> Eric looking at the bougie cheese section after he got his bougie $20 steaks. Anyone have any good uh, Trader Joe's chip recommendations? I don't normally go for the chips, but I think I'm going to get some this time. Now the fancy peanut butter. Which kind do you want, Scrimpy? There's so many to choose from. Look, that one's completely separated. Ugh. Gotta get the best snack at Trader Joe's. And hey, these are not that bad for you. They only have eight grams of added sugar for six pieces, one serving per container. We usually eat like one at a time. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's a game changer. What is that? They're like fried banana slices. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna buy them because they're not good for you, but these are the best snacks Trader Joe's has, so you should get them. Also, these mini cones are very delicious. Also, not getting these, but these are amazing. It's just basically a container of mini chocolate chips. It's so good. Also, also, cat cookies. Mm, so good. All right, I'd say that's a pretty full cart. Let's go check out. It's very busy in here. We'll show you our haul when we get home. <laughs> Let's go home. Okay, we're home. We're all unloaded. We had a fun trip at Trader Joe's, huh? Uh-huh. So this is what $200 gets you at Trader Joe's. And Not a lot. <laughs> well, normally we don't spend this much money at Trader Joe's. And a lot of the time we spend way less at Trader Joe's on our groceries than we do at Crest. It's usually a pretty darn good bargain. But the reason it was $200 was because of the meat in the front. We've been doing a lot of grilling. Like... Pretty much every single meal Eric grills on the grill because it's just so good. It's that time of year. The weather is fantastic and it's just fun and delicious. Eric is a very good griller, by the way. So we spent a lot of money on some really nice meat. Um, so that's why it was $200, but everything else was super cheap and affordable. So I guess let's just start grabbing stuff to show. Okay, so we'll start on this side. Okay, so the first thing we got to experiment with was this acai packet. Nice. Um, Eric is allergic to acai, so I will be the only one consuming this. Um, At least we think I am. Like that one Starbucks sure drink. <laughs> to go with my acai bowl, I got some fresh strawberries to cut. And organic, because she's bougie. No, because organic is basically everything at Trader Joe's is organic, so. It's not true. Well, but the stuff in your <laughs> eye line is organic, so I just grab what's in my eye line. And I also got some semi-sweet chocolate chips to go 
with my off-site evil, so that will be fun. Um, okay, what else? I got these Trader Joe's Raises the Bar granola bars. It's got millet. You know what millet is? I don't want to know. Is it like, wait, let me guess. Is it like earthworms? I have no idea what millet is. Like little is. tiny, like I think like, it's a grain. Worms. Like I think it's. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope it's not worms. <laughs> But this is basically like Trader Joe's version of Kind Bars, and I eat Kind Bars like crazy. So, and actually, they have less sugar than Kind Bars. So <gasps> that was good to see. Eric got some freaky all natural. It's, I can't eat this. That look at that. It's the natural peanut butter oils. should not have that. I need some processed peanut butter in my life. That is no, mm -mm, no. But Eric got it for himself. So congratulations, Eric. You can eat all that you want. I will not be partaking. Good. I don't want you to. I got some, some grapes. You want to do that with your legs again? Some grapes? Just so people have the full effect. Yeah. Uh, some bananas. I've been Once making again, a smoothie. Organic, because she boozy. No, because I just looked for the ripest bananas because I hate green bananas. I like like almost rotting bananas. That's my favorite kind of banana. Um, some fancy shredded Mexican style cheese blend. Once again, not organic because I picked it out. Oh my God, you are so annoying. <laughs> Look, I picked this out and it is not organic. Dry roasted and salted pistachios. I love pistachios. They're a great source of protein. And actually this bag at Trader Joe's gets you more pistachios than, what's the green pistachio brand we always buy at Crest? Pistachio? Maybe. Whatever the name brand of pistachios is, that's what we typically buy. And it's less pistachios than this, but it's like $3 more than this. So amazing. Here I got this weird muesli cereal, which is not cereal. It's like granola. I don't, why do you call this cereal? Because this is not cereal. It's in the cereal aisle and it is muesli cereal is what it's called. It's granola. No. This just says muesli. It does yeah. not say cereal on this anywhere. Let us know down in the comments how wrong Miley is. Bro, this is granola. Bro, it's not. Also, I picked my nails off in the car. Gotta redo those. Okay, Eric got this weird looking cool banana fritters. It's fried banana slices. So we're gonna try those, that looks interesting. Moving right along. Eric got some flour tortillas. Um, I got, no that's yours. Eric got just plain gross Greek yogurt. Because I put stuff in, in it. We got some milk. Ooh, this is exciting. I got this orange strawberry banana juice to try. Again, with my smoothies. I make smoothies for lunch three or four times a week. And I think that would be a good juice to try. I've never had it before. Two boring potatoes for baked potatoes. But this is the weirdest. It's like latex oh, feeling back. I, I don't, don't like, like it. That. I got it out and I was like, ooh, no, I don't want to touch this. So... It's like weird, it's like a latex doctor glove. <sighs> okay. Then I got, I'm really excited about these. They're dried baby sweet pineapples. Baby sweet, just like me, Scrimpy, right? Yep. He hasn't <laughs> done In fact, I'm gonna just take a break and try these real quick. So oh, let's good. do a little taste test. Oh, they look really weird. They look like mushroom flowers. I'm already going to tell you by the taste, I'm going to hate these. By the smell, you mean? By the smell. Let me try. Oh, you don't hate it? Oh my God, what does it taste like? It tastes like, um, um, hold on. Raisins. It tastes like raisins. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, raisins are the most commonly consumed dried fruit, so. Raisins are a dried fruit? Oh, grapes. College graduate, everyone. This is just a mushroom shaped raisin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we always had uh, raisins at my grandma's house. Shout out to my grandma if you're watching. What up? I always had raisins at her house. Those raisins taste better than that sweet pineapple thing. Okay, where was I? Um, no idea. Lots of sides for all of our dinners. Some Brussels sprouts. Some butternut squash. Some cauliflower. Eric has the most delicious recipe for preparing cauliflower. Just baking it in the oven at like 25 minutes on 325. No, 425. At 425. 
And he just put salt and pepper and... Paprika and garlic paprika. powder. Paprika. He said... Eric has this weird thing about him. Let me just dunk on Eric some more. So Eric has this really weird thing about him when he's talking about ingredients that he uses in meals. He uses the British pronunciation. It's because of those guys that you watch. What are they called on YouTube? Sorted food. Sorted food. So he'll say like paprika. Um, what else do you say that's super weird? I mean, I call zucchini courgettes. Yeah, courgettes and- Aubergines. Aubergines for eggplant. So annoying. Anyway. Done bragging on here. Some broccoli florets. Florets? Florets. There you go. <laughs> Some asparagus. I'm just gonna like mispronounce things on purpose now so you don't know if I'm mispronouncing it or not. Um, here's the thing that I love about Trader Joe's too is that they have two people sized portions. Like this is just enough butternut squash for me and Eric. Like it's not, I don't have to buy a huge giant bag like the grocery store, that's their only option. I can buy much more smaller portion bags. I like that a lot. Okay, meats. We got some drumsticks because drumsticks on the grill are my absolute favorite thing in the world. Actually, I take it back, my second favorite thing to ribs. I love ribs on the grill too. So we got both of those for dinners. We got ahi some ahi tuna, tuna. Steaks. Steaks. We got some boneless, skinless chicken breast for Eric for his lunches. And then we got $20 each, each steaks, ribeye steaks. I told Eric to pick out what he wanted and I regret that choice because this is $40 in one meal. Suck a butt. <laughs> okay, then I got some vanilla Greek yogurt for all of my smoothies. Eric got two things of ginger beer. He loves drinking so good. ginger beer. And the greatest snack at Trader Joe's, mochi. Strawberry mochi, we got three containers because like you saw me discover in the store, we thought a serving of this was one mochi. No, no, a serving is the entire container of six mochi. Okay, and then, I don't know if you know this or not, but my favorite thing about Trader Joe's is the flowers. Their flower section is unbeatable, especially for the price. Normally you can get a bouquet for five bucks. It is chef's kiss amazing. So. I got these three bouquets to throw together, inspired by my least favorite flower on the face of the planet is baby's breath. I hate baby's breath. I think it smells gross. I think it reminds me of like the 80s, like dance recital bouquets, like just no, not a fan. I think it's outdated and old. Don't give me baby's breath, okay? I hate it. Except look at this baby's breath. It's like kind of dried baby's breath and it's dyed. It's like the cutest spring pastel colors. I saw it and I was like, yeah. That is the one instance where I will buy baby's breath because it's, ugh, it smells so bad. Don't smell that. But I was inspired by this. And so I got, what are these? Carnations? No. <laughs> mini carnations. Yeah. Thank you very much. I know my flowers, sir. Um, mini corn carnations that are pink that kind of go. And then one of my favorite flowers, white hydrangeas, to just pull them all together. That's it, that's all we got at Trader Joe's. We are super set for the week and probably more than that. Can you please stop vlogging the dogs and vlog me trying to end this video? Okay, you guys, not gonna lie, it's been more than just a sec. Eric and I did about a little over two miles at the zoo. <laughs> Fun fact, if you wanna walk a 5K, maybe don't choose the zoo to do it at because we just wanted to stop and look at the animals and there were a lot of people and the route wasn't super clear. So anyway, we just finished the last of our 5K when we got home. We walked a little over a mile with the butts just in our neighborhood. So I'm hot and sweaty. It is a hot day outside. I don't know what the weather is like where you are. Comment down below. Is it super nice? Is it still really chilly? Is it super freaking hot like it is? here in Oklahoma, but man, the temperature is just gearing up and we're all hot, the dogs are exhausted. Anyway, so I've got my flowers to arrange. Let's get to it. What do we think? Kind of funky and dangly and asymmetrical or just too many flowers thrown in a vase? Comment down below, which version? <laughs> Let me know down below the things that we didn't grab from Trader Joe's that are like must try, must get next time on my list things. Um, and I'll get them next time and try them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.